Hi gang, this is Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com and Mr GTV. I want to talk about medication and the etymology of medication is simply healing for the body and it should be. So I don't get deleted, I'll say right at the beginning that I want you to read between the lines of what I'm saying or listen to what I'm not saying, but there's no doubt about it that the industry that provides our medication is a multi-trillion pound industry and it's very spurious the way they're funded, researched and distributed and promoted because there's so much money in it and it's so beneficial for that industry to, with respect, keep us all ill or to tell us that we've got conditions that we need their products and services that really it doesn't take a lot of imagination to understand why if they were able to cure everybody they would be putting themselves out of business now you could call that skeptical but just look at what's going on in the world at the moment look at people who are and I see who have been on antidepressants for decades with no medication reviews and yet if they were given counselling services talking or touch therapies holistic therapies, strategies possibly challenged on their lifestyle choices I know for a fact that those people would have been off those medications years ago because all those medications have what are called side effects but I would actually say they are effects so I question the fact that these days that medication is healing for the body although I know that I've used medications and maybe you're on medications that you value and you need and they have a purpose there is a need but I think most people are over prescribed too quickly without investigation without any alternatives being offered and that's because of the nature of the industry it is a business I want to talk more about meditation which sounds very similar to medication and the etymology of meditation is that it's healing for the body that stillness training silence practice mindfulness is very therapeutic that I know personally in my life that when I've needed medication and I've been medicated at that time I needed it but it's because of my ability to apply psychology and use meditation and I've learned certain practices and disciplines that I've got off my medication but I also know that people in the bed to the left and the right of me and some of my clients, well most of my clients before they came to me who didn't know about meditation and the psychology of the mind-body connection that they're still on their medication and possibly are on stronger medications and are experiencing the effects of being on that medication and don't just take my word for it as I say it's a multi trillion pound industry and when you go these days to see a health care practitioner if you're in employment you're going to come out after your three minutes which is possibly you're lucky if you get three minutes these days you're lucky if you can actually see somebody these days but if you do you're going to get a sick note and a prescription when really you want and need neither
on most occasions because most general practitioners will tell you that the majority of people they see have got functional diseases which means lifestyle induced so if they change their lifestyle change the mindset change the daily practices and the behaviors change their everyday routines they wouldn't have those conditions and yet they're still given a sick note and a prescription and possibly they'll be on those prescriptions for a good length of time so meditation to me is the answer and it's the answer for most of my clients and students and yet in the West it's rarely taught never suggested or promoted and quite often debunked in other words it's poo pooed it's it's laughed at I have a process called cure hypnosis which is C-U-R-E which is C for create U R, which is your and E is experience create your experience cure hypnosis you can create your own experience with meditation mindfulness stillness silence peace of mind peace of body allowing the body to restore natural function without interventions you can detoxify you can hydrate well eat electric food in other words healthy nutritious healing food get off fast food get off over processed food and to a large extent that still includes a lot of organic stuff that you shouldn't be eating a lot of stuff that's packaged and promoted as being good for you but it actually isn't all sorts of products including skincare products baby foods deodorants antiperspirants drinks that are promoted cereals that are promoted as being good for you that aren't I won't go into certain brands but if you phone me or contact me I'll tell you but do your own research things that are on the shelves in most supermarkets and grocers and butchers that we really shouldn't be eating and will create something that's very undesirable if you persist eating it or consuming it or using these products so there is a better way, a healthier way, a more nutritious, tasty way that will increase your longevity, increase your vitality, balance your emotions better, give you better brain function, and you'll become a pretty happy person. Unmedicated, having more control of your own equilibrium and state of mind you'll be more effective, you'll be performing an optimum health. That's a far better option for me, and I suggest it's a far better option for you. And yet it's not promoted because it's not an industry, it's just a fact. It's the way you were designed to be. So if you're interested in cure hypnosis, then call me for a chat, I'm here for that whatever you've got and I will tell you that I'm looking between now and the end of this year November, December 2022 but whenever you're watching this the offer will still exist that if you're in dire straits, if you're in a mess I'll talk to you for free I'll help you for free because that's me But I believe that you can learn yourself also, without contacting me, that if you change your lifestyle and change your mindset and start to do more of what's good for you and less of what's not good for you, that you'll dramatically shift your physiology, your biology, 
by changing your psychology. That through meditation, you can remove the need for medication and live a far healthier life. And if any of this interests you, then wherever you're viewing this presentation, inbox me, leave a comment, like and share, because you care for other people who are probably in dire straits, in poor states of health, that I know I can shift, or if they're able to, they can shift themselves. Because the difference between good health and bad health is a decision. But you have to change something, and quite often we're not in the mindset for doing it. Well, I'm a hypnotist, and trust me, together we can do it. So be powerful, do it, enjoy your mind, and have a healthy, vital life. God bless.